it all comes back to the things that were pointed out in the 9-11 Post report that said uh, we had a failure of being able to connect the dots and see things that were related to each other as far as terrorism goes. We've heard, we in the public, that if you see something, say something. The the um, people who worked with this man did just that, but it didn't seem to be enough. Yes, and as you know, we've been working hard here in our state to try to get people to think that way and feel comfortable with that because it, it really is going to be, unfortunately, in this day and age, um, a lot of people who see something suspicious or hear somebody make a comment that uh, just isn't right or may be related to um, their intent to hurt people, that if they can get that to law enforcement, it gives us a chance to then use these tools that we've built and uh, these relationships that we have between the agencies to prevent the next attack. And so I hope that uh, uh, people will feel comfortable with that. Uh, we have on our DPS website um, an easy way to find a video that uh, goes through some of those things specifically for individuals to look at and, and report. Yeah, because I would assume that law enforcement desperately needs the, the help of the public and coworkers and friends and family members to really come forward and to help them out to be able to solve some of these situations. We really do. Um, you know, there's... Um, unfortunately, we see now with ISIS, uh, they're very effective in at being able to reach out to individuals who may um, feel that they're disenfranchised, depressed, whatever's going on in their world. And their message to them is to, you don't have to come here and train with us now. You can just go and act out wherever you are. And I think that's what we're seeing, in, uh, unfortunately, in Orlando and San Bernardino. Well, we appreciate your time, uh, Commissioner, and the work that you do. Thank you this, this morning. Thank you. Utah Public Safety Commissioner Keith Squires with us on the KSL Newsline.